it's time. Yes, on scotch, no on haggis. It's time for this week's Great Eight. And now, even the Loch Ness Monster said no to Ben. Crystal. Well, at least the Scots got to choose. We used to do that here. <sighs> Good times. <laughs> Close to 100% turnout. And according to CNN, it was even higher in some places. <laughs> Journalism. That's actually a leftover graphic from the last Chicago elections. <laughs> Today on You Make the Call, anti-war rally for Democrats and neocons, <laughs> or the first game after the NFL institutes a zero-tolerance domestic violence policy. <laughs> you Make the Call. Speaking of formerly anti-war Democrats and their neocon buddies, Secretary of State Kerry wrapped his testimony by winking at Senator McCain. Yeah, because that's what was missing from the rush to war. It wasn't creepy enough. <laughs> He's actually being heckled in this picture by shriekers from Code Pink. They're, they're against killing kids, unless it's covered by Obamacare. <laughs> Code Pink versus Secretary Munster. I honestly don't know who to root for. <laughs> Left-wing hate group Center for American Progress's event this week was headlined by the all-new Spice Girls. <laughs> we got sociopath spice, liar spice, and in the back there, it's I'm pretty sure that's a dude spice. <laughs> quote, we don't give women enough support they need to be empowered, unquote. So says the presidential candidate and former cabinet secretary and senator whose entire career was a gift from her husband. Despite using tales of sexual harassment to sell her book, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand still won't name her congressional harassers, leading people to wonder which Democrat it was. They'd have to be drunk or stupid. <laughs> or both. <laughs> Divine inspiration for Dr. Man Bear Pig, when Al Gore tried to invoke the Savior during one of his sci-fi speeches, his mic cut out. Quoth the son of man, uh, name in vain, ring a bell, <laughs> feel like it's a rumor. That's your grade eight for the week, kiddies. For the personal Liberty Digest, I'm Ben Crystal saying, who's out first, Roger Goodell or Debbie Wasserman Schultz? Oh.